Hi, Liz. I'm Robbie. Welcome back to our channel, Bookworm Couple. Today we are going to be talking about the fifth episode of the first season fifth? of the... It wow. is the fifth episode, yeah, already. Thank you for knowing the, that number, because I didn't. You got it. Percy <laughs> Jackson and the Olympian series on Disney+. Plus. Uh, it is titled A God Buys Us Cheeseburgers, which, again, is another chapter title from the book. I'm sure you've noticed the pattern by this point. Um, we like the titles. We do like the titles. <laughs> and how did you feel about this episode? Oh, I thought it was really fun. Yeah. I liked the, the little diversions that they took from the text I really, really liked. Like what? Like Grover and um, Ares. Yes, yes. Grover, I... like, kind of playing Ares mm -hmm. by, like, being his super fan mm -hmm. was really fun. It was really good. Yeah, I liked the... I thought that all the changes they made, again, I, I thought that they were mostly good. They made some pretty significant changes to certain parts of this. Yeah, yeah. Um... But yeah, I really, I really enjoyed the episode on the whole, and it was fun to get so much time with one of the gods, which we hadn't really gotten before. Mm -mm. And I liked um, the actor who played Ares is actually a professional wrestler. Love that for him. Yeah. Of course he is. Uh, and I thought he did great. He I really rocked enjoyed. the leather duster. He really rocked that leather like any duster. God would. Very good. Very, mm -hmm. very good. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the episode. I thought it was kind of a raising of the stakes. It mm, sets yeah. things up for the fu the ending bit really interested me because it sets up the next episode in a way that is very different mm -hmm. from the book so i'm interested to see how that plays out um but it gets them to where they need to go very does, it, very yes. fast and very like yes so yeah but I, i'm i'm, I'm interested i'm just i'm interested to see where they go from here mm -hmm. but overall yeah i really i really enjoyed the episode i thought we got we got a good bit of grover which i was really I appreciative of he was great he was, he was a a big star of this episode. We've gotten for me. so much more Grover in the series, I think, than we get, or in the TV series, than we do in the books. And the actor who plays him is phenomenal and has brought such beautiful mm -hmm. color to this character. And I love all of the moments that we've had with him. Like he's much more. He's got his silliness, but it's a serious silliness. Yeah. And I very much enjoy that. Yeah. A lot. I think he's. Great. I do. Yeah. I thought he was. I thought he was very, very good. Um, Annabeth's arc mm. in this uh, series continues as well in yeah. this episode big, taking a pretty big leap mm. i thought as well um yeah it was uh, there were a lot of a lot of things that in, that happened in this episode um i guess we can start going into more details now so if you haven't watched the episode yet go watch that first and then come and come back join us now. as we talk about some more of the details but anyway not speaking of Annabeth, speaking of Percy, I thought it was interesting that in the beginning he was all very gung-ho about his dad. I kind of assumed he was going to come out of that moment being like, Dad finally decided to show up or whatever, yeah, but he was really pumped about I it. I think he was kind of... Which, I think he, it surprised him. Like, that's how I read yeah, it. If he was like, oh, yeah. my dad cares about me? Mm -hmm. like, rather than like, well, okay. Yeah, Which I, he very yeah. well could have been, because as we've said multiple times, like, yeah, they kind of suck, mm -hmm. the gods. <laughs> And I also think it's a more interesting choice because now Annabeth, the way that they've set up Annabeth's trajectory, it's now that they're like crossing. Yeah. Because he's now reconsidering all of the preconceived notions he had because of this one instance. And Annabeth is also doing that in the opposite direction with Hephaestus, which, well, not with Hephaestus, with Athena and her scenes with Hephaestus, which was great. They really changed everything yeah. about that, really. I, it didn't bother me in I any way, it. but I liked it. I, I liked, liked it a lot. I liked it that we got to see... It felt a lot less see, silly. It felt, it felt a lot less silly. We got to see Hephaestus, which was really nice. He's we so love... Great. Big Psych uh, fans. We are, we are big Psych fans, so uh, it was great to see Lassie. Yeah, um, oh, he was... His beard just was luscious. He was just so lovely and crabby. Yeah, he, he was great. He plays crabby so well. He plays crabby so well. We love him. We love him. Um, but um, I'm blanking on that actor's name now. Timothy Obmanson. Yeah, Timothy Obmanson. Yeah, we love Timothy Obmanson, so it was really great to see him, especially since he had a stroke a few years ago. Yeah. So great to see him um, on screen again, so, um, and, and doing well, it seems. Yes, what I really loved was the, was the tunnel of love where they showed the story oh, yeah. of Hephaestus. I thought that was gorgeous. That was really cool. <laughs> Once again, the it. effects. Gorgeous. Yeah, and the chair was really Beautiful. cool, and I actually didn't know that about, um, how Hephaestus married Aphrodite. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, and that's mm -hmm. that's the correct story that that he trapped Hera in a chair, and then Zeus offered him Aphrodite's hand as to 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 free Hera, yeah. and that's you know awful. <laughs> um, 
It is. It's, it's all bad, but also, like, you know, it, it's interesting that they're focused, they're immediately jumping in on how bad all of that is, which I think they would kind of have to, where the books kind of it felt like they were a little bit more free because they are 100% geared towards a slightly younger audience. Right. They were written a while ago. You know, yeah, it's they, also they, they, they were kind of yeah, so they, they were kind we're of doing things differently. freed of the responsibility of having to constantly point out, you know, how terrible the gods were and also how they might feel about it within themselves. Mm -hmm. um, whereas now that it's a visual medium and you know, kids are not the only ones they're trying to make it a deeper series, yeah. I feel like. Um, and, and so as we're adults doing... I feel like we're really enjoying it. Yeah, I do, yeah. And so And I think know, kids would enjoy it too. I'm not a kid anymore, so I can't really actually tell you that, but I assume um, but, um, I as a kid. Yeah, so getting Hephaestus's thoughts even briefly on his family and how maybe he does not entirely agree with how everything is done versus Ares and yeah. and everything he did. And, you know, I, I liked, I liked, um, the wrestler's name is Edge, so Edge's portrayal of Ares, I thought, I thought it was oh, very was over the great. top, and that kind of worked. It was perfect because yeah. he then also got he's like, kind of like larger than life. Goofy with Grover, uh -huh. like yes. when Grover brought up his like, like deep cuts, like mm -hmm. his deep cut yeah, wars that nobody stuff. talked yeah, yeah. about. Oh my god, it was beautiful, and uh -huh. then he just kind of turned into a delightful teenager at that point. Of yeah. Like, yeah, he's this hard god of war, mm -hmm. but in fact, he's got this you know, a little bit of a soft core of just wanting to be seen. Uh -huh. And I thought it was great. It was yeah. very entertaining. It, like, it made you really, like, I don't know, it made me really want to get to know him more because I just enjoyed it. And I think the way that they wrote that with how Grover got that out of him was fantastic. And both yes. actors I, played it that, that, was, that was probably one of the highlights of the oh, episode for me was, was, like, after how confident Grover was in saying, like, no, I got this. You guys should go and get the shield. It's okay. Leave me here. And getting to see him be in his element and like be good yeah. um, was instead of just like kind of being silly or being worried or whatever. I really, really loved that. Um, that and just like everything about Hephaestus, I think, were like yeah. my two favorite parts of the episode. It was beautiful. I also love the development of Percy and Annabeth's relationship. Yep. I know, obviously, we get a lot of like they have crushes on each other, definitely yep. in the books, but I never, I mean, obviously. There's only so much you can write in a teenage novel, and I was like, yeah, hey, okay, they're like awkward together. But seeing these two awkward actors play together, they have fantastic chemistry. Mm -hmm. And I really bought the like, okay, Percy and Annabeth are kind of falling for each other in, you know, a cute teenage way. But obviously it has to be very deep because they're dealing with gods and a lot of really deep stuff. And I thought it was beautifully acted and like, for, for young people to be able to get that depth, mm -hmm. I was very impressed with, because Lord knows I thought I could have acted like that when I was 13. I did not have that. I, I, there was a lot of, yeah, no, the, I think Annabeth did a lot of the heavy lifting. She did, in this episode, she's but great. Eve, but both of, and she was wonderful. I, I mean, and both of them, you know, in the bit where Percy's like sitting in the chair and stuff, that was, you know, that was really good. It I felt so like adult. Yeah. <laughs> the way that they both handled it, it just felt so mature. Yeah. And I, I don't know that mature is the right way. Maybe it's because it spoke to me as an adult to watch, you know, like young people be very grounded in doing what they have to do, what they feel they have to do and what they feel is right. It was wonderful. I thought it was great. I also really liked the stupid joke that Percy made in the beginning about like, oh, is this because we hugged? <laughs> yes. <laughs> really, there was really, there's the that opportunity. Really, that really got me. I was like, that's, that's very, very yeah, good. No. No, it's okay. Yeah, that was great. But yeah, no, I, I'm, but, uh, and to speak to what I said at the beginning about how they're setting things up, you know, I understand why they changed the Hephaestus stuff, like, all of it makes sense, and I'm sure I'll understand the, you know, stuff they're going to do with the Lotus Casino next episode, but, um, it's a very different setup from the books. Mm -hmm. Like, the Hephaestus thing I understand because, you know, they were trying to tell a slightly different story and focus more on how it's affecting Percy and Annabeth yeah, as opposed to... Too. And same with Medusa, as opposed to, like, in the books, it's very much, you know, Hephaestus just happened to set this trap in a water park that wasn't created by Hephaestus, where Ares and Aphrodite were going on a date. And so Hephaestus wanted to catch them and embarrass them in front of all the other gods. There were, like, cameras and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And this was much more intimate and just about Percy and Annabeth and their relationship with each other. And kind of got with really other the and their through line their that we've been talking about. Yes, exactly. So, it, so I understand that. But, yeah, them setting up the Lotus going to Vegas at, and the Lotus Casino 
they never, in the books, they were never, like, told to go to the Lotus Casino or anything. They were just like, this truck is going to go to, it's going to stop in Vegas. Or I don't even know it was supposed to stop in Vegas. I think the truck was supposed That's to go to all the way to LA. They and left they got out of the, yeah. yeah. And so they, they, like, got out of the truck early or something like that. But anyway, they were in Vegas, and now they're going to Vegas to the Lotus Casino where Hermes hangs out, and you can meet his driver. And so, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just like, so then where's the... I kind of like it. It's like where's the, the plot? next where's, on the where's, map. Is, where is, yeah. And like, so they're still going to the same place and doing the same thing, kind of. But then, we'll see. but where's the plot? Because the plot was like, how are they going to get from Vegas and this casino to LA? Mm. Or, you know, the West Coast. And now it seems pretty obvious. And there's a thing about the Lotus Casino that I'm not going to go into in case anyone is watching this and has not read the books. But... Now I'm like, is that still part of what it, it is? Because also it has to be because it impacts future, future books, books. For sure. I mean, I do think, I, I don't mind the, the like, having a pit stop, like, knowing that they're going to a place. I kind of was like, okay, cool. I like, because it very much seemed to me, how I read it was like, oh, you're going to have to play a game. Like, Whoops. you're going to stop, because obviously this is Aries being, like, kind of trickstery and wanting to stir up trouble guess. to me i read it as he's like yeah, yeah, yeah i've got this taken care of but underneath it's really like you're gonna have to play some sort of game with hermes to get to the next place well, that's not, that you know what it is i think that's the thing that that's tripping me up because when i you know my memory of reading the books hermes is never like that he's never no. at least in my in my remembrance of, of reading the books and stuff hermes is always one of the nicer gods in the few interactions that they have yeah. with him he's never like i'm gonna you know, make you perform for me to idea. do this. Mm -hmm. um, and it feels like the only thing that makes, and I, I could be totally wrong, but the only thing that makes sense to me in the next episode is that, like, they have to do something for Hermes, or, like, there's yeah. some sort of game or trick they yeah. have to do, which I'm like, oh, that feels kind of weird. That's a different, take, like on, a, a different yeah. take on the character. Maybe, or maybe they're going to do something entirely different, and I'm totally wrong. Yeah, but I don't know. That, that's kind I'm of... Intrigued. So I was just very interested, because it is, like, they're telegraph. I think it's the first time that they're very obviously telegraphing a pretty significant change yeah. from the book, or at least not a not a change in set, but a change in like intention when going into a scene, which is interesting. Yeah, yeah, I'm intrigued. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to it. This is another good episode. I really, I enjoyed it again. I think yeah, I, like that, this I think one a lot. that I think that getting some time with Ares, um, getting oh, Grover, getting like, a chance to shine, like, getting to see Hephaestus. And you know, yeah. seeing another god who is who is more humanized, mm -hmm. um, because of his. Well, I think they both kind of were too. Exactly. Yes. Um, was and getting to see Percy and Annabeth's relationship continue to grow, as well as um, just getting to see those two young actors get to uh, something to really chew on for a while. Which I, I thought the episode was really good. Yeah, I loved I it. I enjoyed this one a lot. And which which is interesting because there's. It's really pretty. Yeah. Yes, it was. Well, I mean, yeah. The, the amusement park was fun, and yeah. I really, really loved the way that they threw Festus' story in there. Oh, that was really cool. It's nice yeah. that they're doing stuff like that, because it's kind of just thrown into the books. Yeah, right. Where it's just like, Percy like, just oh, knows yeah, this, this, but it's just story. a quick paragraph or sentence mm -hmm. about, like, oh, write this story. And you can't do that in a visual medium, <laughs> obviously. So it's nice that they've found ways to still thread those in, because I personally enjoy them. No, I do too. Awesome. Well, um, that's, I think that's our thoughts, right? I think that's my thoughts. I think, that, I think those are our thoughts. So, uh, <laughs> what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, please like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. If you want to see any of the, our discussions on the books, because we are reading the book series right now as well, uh, you can find the uh, playlist for those up here. And thank you so much for watching, and... We'll see you on our next adventure.